Hi there, Cancer! How are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome to your weekly reading. Back with me again, Anissa from The Earth's Dealio. For those of you are new to my channel, hello! And for those of you who have been a long time, welcome, welcome back! So, we're not going to be doing a big art reading at this session. I'm thinking of doing, I'm compiling all of the big art readings actually, and I'm going to be compiling them in one video, which I'm going to be ex um, uploading sometimes next week. So, yeah. Don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. Me personally, I realize that with my readings, I have a tendency to resonate a lot more with my Venus sign rather than my, you know, sun sign, moon sign, rising sign, or what have you. So you might want to check that one out too, all right? So Cancer, you got like a lot of like um, reverse card in there. You have the Ace of Swords in reverse. You have the Lover's card in reverse. But the only thing that has an up in a preposition is the Ace of Wands. That's very interesting. I feel that, if, especially if you guys are dealing with one person, the friendship aspect of the relationship is already gone. And what I mean by friendship aspect of the relationship, it means that the trust is no longer there. You know, I have a Cancer Moon, I have a Cancer Rising, and I also have a Jupiter in Cancer. So I do really understand what that trust means for a Cancer. Because only with trust we can, you know, decide to open up and be vulnerable with other people. It's really, really hard to gain your trust and then to be repaid with something that could potentially hurt you or then break your trust. It's then going to be very, very difficult for you to be trusting them again. And I think this is what happens because I feel that, you know, this person, even in the past, they didn't get their wish fulfillment because you guys were already like the four of pentacles. You were being stingy with your attentions and your affections. You were withdrawing 180 miles per hour, you, you, I don't know, it's just like you were intense and then because of the things that was happening between you and them, you suddenly pull back and they just didn't see it coming. Like there was like, whoa, like now I get to feel what it feels like to not have a cancer attentions in my life and it wasn't pleasing for them. You know, they have the star card in reverse in here. It wasn't really pleasing for them. They didn't get their wish fulfillment. I feel that they also became super duper demotivated when it comes to achieving their goals in life and all of those stuff. What's, inter what's interesting to me is that I feel that in the past, you guys were trying to communicate the angst and the worries that you have in your mind. But you just feel that this person is dismissive of that. So it's like you guys are trying to be vulnerable. You guys are trying to show them, you know, all of the overthinking and all of the worries that you guys have in a relationship only to be met with like somebody who's just like, yeah, I, I, everybody has a problem. Like, I also have a problem. Like, I'm not here to deal with your problem. Like something like that. Like they, they just don't want to understand what you need. And that just frustrates you. So what you do for a pentacles. What's in the bottom of the deck, though, is actually the Nine of Cups. So this person craves to be in your good grace again. If this person were to be given another opportunities or another chance, they would definitely want to come clean with everything. If it's an apology that you're expecting, I feel that this person is very, very open towards that although their energy in the past didn't really show it. It was something that was hidden from you. Three of swords. That's from their side, though. Six of pentacles in reverse. Page of wands. Mm -hmm. Going to the visits. Two of Swords. That's very interesting. I feel that you guys, because this is the world card, right? It's ruled by Saturn. Saturn is about boundaries. Saturn is about limitations. Saturn is about what protects us. Okay? I feel that you are like drawing, like with an invisible ink or with invisible chalk. Like, this is my boundaries. I won't let you get near me kind of energy so you're really pushing them away you guys are repulsed by it i think you're going to have like an outlet or 
a way to get away from this stressful situation is by talking with other people. And what I mean by talking to other people, it doesn't necessarily mean that you guys are dealing with the third party situations or whatnot, but it's just that you are going to be meeting like like minded people or like minded person that you guys are going to be sharing with. And I feel that that really, really helps alleviate the pain that you guys are feeling in your relationship sector in and now. <clears throat> and this person is basically quite shocked. They're shocked. Like, they're the three swords. Like, there's also, especially if you guys are in a no contact period and you really are giving them the heart silent. This person probably assumed that you guys already have somebody else on your side and know they are hurting. Are they going to be doing anything about it? I don't think so for the now though because they have a six of pentacles in reverse. They, they, like you, they're pulling back their resources hard. You got the lover's card in reverse in there. So I think too, some of you though... Two, um, there's like a falling out that happens and one of the reasons why that happened was because of a lie, or of a, a betrayal, lack of clarity. You feel that this person is just fishy and there's something that is hidden from you. King of Wands, let's see the future. Three of Pentacles. Paraffin card, Nine of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Specifically, if you guys are dealing with a fire sign, and so that that's going to be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Taurus, or a Sagittarius. If you guys are dealing with a Capricorn, that trust issues is bigger than if you guys are dealing with fire signs or Taurus. But what I could see happening in the future is that this person is then going to step up their game. Okay, because they really, really do believe. Oh, and if you guys are also dealing with Libra, I feel that this person is um, going to stepping up their game because they feel that, you know, lost without you, you know, that's all. I can't help myself. How does it feel? I'm probably going to be titling that video that. But anyway, yeah, they, ju they just feel so unhappy with themselves. I mean, that that's also happened in the past, though. They were so demotivated with the fact that you guys are pulling back hard. It's like you're their muse or something. So they're going to be snatching away from this energy of the Three of Swords and Six of Pentacles in reverse because of... It's pretty desperate. It's it's an act of desperations in here, and then they're going to be stepping up more and more. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, it's going to be very very difficult for you to trust them. However, if you're dealing with again like a fire sign, Taurus or Libra, it's going to be like a little bit easier because the way that this person is going to come back to you is very inspiring kind of so you have wheel of fortune here reacting to the three of pentacles wheel of fortune is ruled by jupiter and jupiter is all about our guru or our mentor somebody that inspires us so this person is going to come back hard and then they're going to be kind of like having this energy of wanting to be an inspired person and then they're going to be like talking about or teaching you Maybe some spiritual stuff, maybe, you know, something that you guys share in common, like literature, his histories, or, you know, science, or whatever that is. That's just going to make your mind like, whoa, this is inspiring. You know what I mean? It, like, you would feel kind of like quite inspired by them. However, to trust them is not really an easy feat because you guys are like the nine of wands in here. Like, I try you know like i really really did try it i probably tried like eight ways in my life to try to you know make this correct make my relationship sector correct i have spent like a lot of times and you know a lot of energy for me to be drawing that thin lines of boundaries that i told you earlier 
I'm not really sure if I should let you in right now because like my boundaries are strong but it's but I gotta be honest with you cancer it's a bit weak when it comes to them it's a bit weak when it comes to them But however, if you guys want to come back to them, I feel that you guys do not want the dynamic of the relationship to be as it was before. Because you're in the energy of this seven of wands. So I think you guys are also going to be communicating that to them. You know, the seven of wands in this deck of mine is different um, because it's literally destroying that six of wands previously and it's trying to rebuild something new. So you guys probably feel that the relationship that you've had in the past with them before was a bit superficial, was a bit fake, was a bit like maybe too honeymoon facey or it was, it was to be serving, you know, somebody's purposes as either you or them and you don't want that anymore. And I feel that you guys are going to be communicating with them like, no, no, this is what I want. I want change this time. And I feel that this person is going to step up to that though. I feel that you're able to make this person promise you. So you guys are going to be making promises to each other to commit now, commitment can take any shapes of form. It could be that you guys could be committed to like, yeah, let's, 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 let's move our relationship from like a friends with benefit situations into a more exclusive relationship where it could literally be that, okay, we were dating in the past, but now I'm thinking about wanting to have a family or whatever that is. And then like, this is what I want. So you are going to be able to make them, you know, meet in the middle and come to terms and come to agreement together with you too, which is good which is good but you just don't want things to be as it was in the past though if you are looking to move forward move on with this person and completely done with your past person i don't see any problem with you guys doing that either because i feel that once you really are getting rid of their energy there's going to be like a fire sign coming into your life so when I said fire sign, it could literally be in the forms of rising or sun sign or Venus sign. They're going to be like a little bit, ugh, this is not even a personal reading, but like they're going to have like a little bit of a darker hair, darker hair tone. And they're probably going to have like a little bit of a facial hair, like pretty hot. Like they're, they're pretty big and they're, they're, they're really hot. But like with this person, um, it's difficult for you to trust this person because this person comes really, really hard towards you. And you're like, whoa, like you come into me hard. What is this, love bombing? Or are you really genuine with your feelings towards me? I'm like, are you really that interested? <laughs> but they are interested in you, um, Cancer. You just, you just need to go with the flow with this. Because I feel that if you decided to move on from your pa past person and you want to, you know, go back to dating pool and try to date this fire sign again, um, this person is kind of like in the same um, stage of life with you where they're no longer looking for anything casual. What they're looking for is just somebody to build like a long-term relationship with. Somebody to, you know, like grow old with or something like that, okay? So yeah. I think that is it for my reading for you, Cancer. I hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you've been looking for. And I'll see you guys next week for your other weekly reading. All right. Bye, guys. Have a great day. I love you.